What's going on, guys? Sherlock here, bringing you guys a fifth gen NU match. This is going to be against Mr. T. I mean, Cool Trainer T. <laughs> Mr. T, I don't know why I said that. Uh, cool Trainer T from the uh, Small Gun Battle Finder. And uh, let's get this started. So I'm going to go out to my Golem as my lead, you know, standard, pretty standard lead. And uh, I'm just go for the Stealth Box. He does start off with his Bastion. I'm not sure why. He could have two hit KO'd me from Waterfall. Uh, I do have a Sturdy, so I probably wouldn't have KO'd even if he wanted to. But he goes up to his Cradilly. Uh, I'm predicting the stealth rocks I'm just gonna switch out go to my cryogonal just because I do not want to bring this thing on when it has rocks on the, f on the field already because uh, there's a lot of damage and I really don't have that too much health so I'm gonna go for the ice beam hopefully he stays in if he doesn't switches out I get to some damage on something else unfortunately he goes into his grumpig which uh, pretty much pretty sure has the uh, thick fat ability so it's not gonna do too much even though it's a special wall as well, so I'm gonna go for a rapid spin and just knock off these uh, stealth rocks. He does go for a psychic, which does a decent chunk of damage. I'm actually surprised about how, about how much that did. I'm gonna go for the ice beam again, just to uh, stay in here. I really don't want to switch out to a uh, psychic for anything. He does get a crit, kind of sucks. He didn't knock out my uh, cryo and all, but things happen. So I'm gonna go out into my uh, golem, just pretty much go for the. I'm pretty sure I go for the earthquake, but uh, he actually switches out, goes into his Cro <laughs> goes into his Cordelia. Earthquake does a decent chunk, not as much as I would like it to, but for neutral damage, it does a decent chunk of damage. So I'm gonna go for it again. It's gonna be a three hit KO. Uh, he's gonna be able to get his rocks up. Don't really care about those rocks too much. I mean, he does probably pretty much take out half of my health on Charizard, but I really don't care because he is my. Uh, I only really have one more poke that's really affected by it. That's only Charizard, so. Let's take him out with a uh, earthquake. He does go into his jump off. Now this jump off was just so annoying. Like I, my whole team, like I had nothing compared <laughs> prepared for this jump off. I didn't want to switch out because I know he probably has a sleep powder because I know they carry it. But I'm gonna take a chance now. Go into my Raichu because I do carry the hidden power ice. He does set up a sword lens, which leads me to predict that he does have the seed bomb, probably acrobatics as well. Not 100% sure, but. I was hoping my Raichu could take at least one Seed Bomb, but Raichu's uh, defenses really aren't that great. So I'm just going to go on my Lux right now, knowing that I can easily just roar this thing. Oh, my phone. Oh, shit. Well, I'm not answering that. But, um, sorry about that. But I get the Intimidate off. Just go for the uh, Tossic. He does hit with the uh, Seed Bomb. Doesn't do too much because of the Intimidate. But, so my Tossic misses. That pretty much sucks, but it happens. And, uh, yeah, I'll go for the tactic again. This time, I finally hit. So, uh, a lot better this time. But, there is kind of a little stall war between me and this, uh, jump pluff, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he does have the encore, which you've seen earlier, which kind of is really annoying. I could just stay in here and just keep going for Tazic, or I could just wait for the encore to end. And, uh, but it really, really would bug me because I really don't like too much stall and that I don't like stall at all, but I really don't want to sit here and get into a stall war with this thing, especially since this thing's pretty good. So I'm gonna go out to my goal. Luckily he did go for the swords dance and uh, I do have full HP because of leftovers. Even though I took some South Rock damage, I gained it all back. He goes for the seed bomb, I can pretty much just uh, stone edge from here. I should have probably gone for the sucker punch, so I wouldn't have had to take too much damage. Uh, Sucker Punch may have killed at this point, but I do miss the Stone Edge, which highly sucks. So I should have just gone for the Sucker Punch in the first place, because I probably could have kept my Sturdy at that point. But that was a stupid move on my part. Uh, I'll learn from the next time. But, yeah. So, this time I go for the Sucker Punch, takes out his Jump Bluff. Uh, not really sure what he wanted to do here, bringing his Basculin in. I could just stay in here to see what variant this Basculin is, if it's Band-Aid, if it's Choice in some way. If it's Life Orb, or if it's some kind of weird, weird, uh, weird set with leftovers, but, yeah. So I'm gonna go bring in my Luxray, get the Intimidate off. I know he's not gonna want to stay in and take a, uh, electric move from this thing. So, what I'm gonna do here is hopefully predict his switch and go for the Discharge. Hopefully just get some decent, a decent chunk of damage on whatever he sends in. I could've gone for the Volt Switch, but at that point, I really didn't know what he was gonna bring in. Volt Switch probably would have been a better idea because uh, I could have just switched out, gone into a faster poke like Charizard or any of my other pokes. Like, uh, could have probably gone into Girder and just got off the Mach Punch. But 
Either way, I can just go into Charizard. Get off the Air Slash because I am faster. And uh, let's let this lefties get some of my HP back. I did take a shit ton of damage just because of the Stealth Rocks. I am four times a week to it. So I'm just going to stay in here and uh, let my Charizard die. I really don't need him for anything else. And even if I do switch him out and switch him back in, he's still going to take a shit ton of damage due to Rocks. So now at this point, I'm just going to go into my Girder. I know I can pretty much uh, just go for Bulk Ups now because he is locked into it. I'm guessing he's Choice Banded. So... I can pretty much just set up two bulk ups and sweep the rest of his team, hopefully. And that's pretty much what I want to do here. I'm just going to set up one more bulk up. Hopefully that'll be enough to take the, out the rest of his team. I can just go for Drain Punch and get most of my HP back from this uh, Basculin. Now, at this point, what he should have done here was just switch out into his Haunter and then switch back in. Uh, probably just go for the Shadow Ball or Psychic or whatever his... Uh, Haunter has, and then switch back in his backlin, Basculin, and go for the uh, Aqua Jet. That may have worked to take out my Girder, but uh, we'll never know due to the fact that uh, this is the last turn and he didn't switch out. So I'm just going to go for the Payback and finish this off as Haunter. So, good game, Cool Trainer. Uh, this is a great match. Uh, guys, if you liked, just click the like button. And uh, Oh shit, he had one more poke? Oh fuck. But yeah, that really doesn't matter because I can just mock punch and. Yeah. So, okay, now good game. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this match, please uh, leave a like. I really enjoy that. But, uh, yeah, see you guys for the next episode. Peace out.